Hey, what's the most delicious and efficient way to cook a tomahawk steak on the Weber grill? Well, come on over and I'm going to show you. What's up, Backyard Smoke? It's your boy James. And today, we're going to be kicking up one of my favorite favorite things to do a tomahawk ribeye and we're going to kick it for the first time on this weber master sets i'm really excited and i hope you guys are too we've already taken it out the fridge and i bring up the room temp what we did was we sprinkled it with salt pepper and garlic for equal parts i believe it was one and a half tablespoons each the ribeye we have today is just under three pounds 2.96 pounds to be exact so it's pretty big and I think it's about, I don't know, maybe about three inches, maybe more thick. I didn't get a test of marriage, but it's a thick boy. So what we did is we let it sit for about 25, 30 minutes till it got nice and room temp. And also until that um, season kind of got tacky. Then what we went ahead and did was sprinkle it with our coarse rub, which is our Montreal steak. I love this rub. I buy it in bulk at my local Sam's Club. It's really good. So all we're doing now is about to go ahead and put it on the grill. We're going to sear it on both sides and then we're going to let it sit until it comes up to temp. I like mine at about 130, 135, which is a nice medium rare. And we're going to baste it with some garlic uh, butter that we got from Sam's Club as well. It's full of herbs and spices already. And man, we just going to have a good time. So I appreciate you guys coming out. If you like content like this, hit that subscribe button for me, man. I'm really excited about this cook, like I said. So let's go ahead and get started because I'm hungry and I really want to eat. And yeah, let's just get it started, man. I'll see you guys at the pit. So the first thing you're going to want to do, put your coals in, put your grill grate on top, let it sit for about five, 10 minutes till this grill grate heats up. We're looking for a temperature about 600 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on and let it do its thing for a few minutes. And then we'll throw in some wood chips and things and get it started. All right, so our grill is ready. We're sitting here about 700, 600, 600, 700, depending on where we move at. You can see those numbers. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now it's time for the best part. Let's get this steak going. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna shut it down. We get our timer here, and we're going to sear this for three minutes on each side. All right, let's go. So it's been three minutes. Take it by the bone here. Oh man, that crust is beautiful. I'm just gonna let it sit again for three more minutes. It's been another three minutes. We're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy off the direct coals. We're gonna put it right up here and let it just cook right over the heat, but not directly on it. Mm -hmm. So, we'll take y'all down here to see this. This bad boy looks magnificent. Say hi, Link. Hi. What's happening, man? And we're cooking cool. up some steak, and we're happy to get it cooked. There we go. That's what the man say. So we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna put our thermal pro in. We're gonna put this right in the thickest part of the meat. There we go. We're sitting about 95 degrees internal. And we're gonna just go ahead and start melting our butter here. This is some regular garlic butter sauce. Just gonna put this here, let it melt, and just let this keep on going. I'm gonna flip this a little bit just because of the way it is. Ah, 
juices are falling. I don't mind. It is what it is. I'm going to let the other side get a little heat to it. So our butter is melted down just enough. We're just going to start really going on top with it. Around the edges. We'll probably flip it again here and get the other side. But this smells wonderful. I mean, shoot. Could not have asked for a nicer cut. Alright, so we're coming in at right on 130, 131, 140 on the edges. That should be expected. So we're perfect. We're going to go ahead and pull this steak off right now before it gets any done. Yeah. And we're going to go ahead and let it rest. Head. And head. I'll see you guys in a minute. Yeah, take it out. All right, so the tomahawk has been resting here for about five to 10 minutes. And we're ready to go ahead and slice into it now. meat some good stuff right there mm. oh that looks wonderful guys like I always say if you like what you see go on ahead and hit that subscribe button like mm. comment and share like this is a really good cook not too hard if you want to know time it took just about 40 minutes and this was a 2.96 ounce uh, 2.96 pound ribeye so okay. feel free enjoy once again we'll see you guys later I'm finna eat that's perfect.